Setting the command line transparency is straightforward. Either right click on the command line itself, accessing transparency here, or click on the customize icon denoted by the wrench and access it here. Either way, you'll end up in the transparency dialog box, which you see here. This gives you one master opacity slider that affects the overall transparency of the command line, as you see in the background there. Now, when you actually move over the command line with the mouse and do work in the command line via input, you may want it to appear more solid. So you have a different transparency slider here. Please note that your transparency or opacity, if you will, can be no lower than it is for the master slider. You can experiment with these settings by using the click to preview function here and get a feel for how that will look. Once you think you have it the way you want, simply OK, and come back out into the drawing editor and you can check the real appearance this way. If you don't like it, just repeat the process until you get it the way you want. These settings will be maintained and are global so that every drawing session in AutoCAD will be affected in the same way. That's it, and that's how you set the transparency of your command line.